Hey my loves and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I'm Priscilla and in this video we're going to be talking all about the UCAT and giving you a 65 week study guide type thing of all you need to do or should be doing to get the best grades that you can get. I've done this for you so you don't have to do it yourself. I'm sure you're going to be asking like how many hours should I typically be spending when it comes to preparing for the UCAT? I think the most feasible amount of time you should be spending is anything between 25 to 30 hours, okay? So obviously you're not going to do all of that in a day. So don't leave it till it's too late. And again, it's not just about the quantity, it's not just about how much time you're spending, it's about the quality of work you're actually doing, so the resources you're using, about um, how you're pacing yourself, things like that, okay? So there's absolutely no reason why you should be spending more than you should be spending like ridiculous hours, like six hours a day. If we're just working on weekdays, which we should be, don't spend all your weekends doing UCAT work. Like, you have a life, go outside, play, enjoy, have fun. So if we're talking about six weeks um, and we're working only on weekdays, that's 30 days. And if you're doing one hour every day, that's 30 hours. That's more than enough time for you to prepare for sit to UCAT and do really well in, okay? So now we've got that question about timing out of the way. If sit week, you're starting to prepare for the UCAT, what should you do? First thing you should be thinking of doing is going onto the UCAT website, familiarize yourself with all you need to know, like all you need to know, the deadlines, all of that. If you've watched my other video, you might not have to do that. Registration, when it comes to the ID you need, your booking, preparation, all of that. So now that you have all the information, um, you've hopefully um, registered for, you have your ID ready um, to take on the day, um, you've booked your test, now you're good to go. What you want to do now is again, go onto the UCAT website and start going through the test tutorials, okay? So why I think you need to do this is to familiarize yourself with the test itself and the computer screen and the settings, um, the functions that you have, the flag function, the review function, things like that. There's no point of you starting to actively take or attempt doing questions if you don't know what the questions are about, if you don't know what is expected of you. So I'll say, before you even start doing any questions, go through the um, test tutorial they have on the UCAT website. I'll put all of the links in my description box. Go through that, make sure that you familiarize yourself with the system, the computer system itself, how it looks like, just so that when it comes to taking tests, it makes more sense to you. During this time, you might also want to challenge yourself by reading loads of things, like just pick up random things and read. We're still between the sixth and fifth week. Pick up a newspaper, try to read as fast as you can, um, try to deduce things. Um, after you've read something, think about, oh, so what was it saying? In summary, what was it talking about? Um, try to read it as fast as you can. Things like this will help you with the verbal reasoning section, okay? And the decision-making section as well. Remember, you don't have that much time, which you'll find out as you go. In the sixth week, you took the tour tutorial. At the start of this fifth week, I want you to go to the question tutorial. So there are two types of, there are like two types of tutorials on the UCAT website. They've got a tour tutorial just familiarizing yourself with like the whole computer-based system and everything and then the question tutorial. It goes through like the subsets um, of the test so things like verbal reasoning, um, situational judgment, decision making section and it'll help you to learn strategies to approach um, the different types of questions when it comes to answering them. So now you are at the end of the fifth week and about the start of the fourth week. What you want to start doing is to go through the question bank on the UCAT website. It's a free question and bank and it helps you to practice um, hundreds of um, example of questions that you will find when you actually set your test. Within this time as well, you'll like to um, solicit some advice from um, people on YouTube. Um, go onto the UCAT website on YouTube. Um, I'm going to put a link in here. And they've got um, testimonials from um, past students who did really well um, in their exams as well. I'm just giving you advice when it comes to like tips and tricks with using the calculator, what they did, what worked for them, what didn't quite work for them, and adapt to that advice as well. At this point, you would have done loads of questions from the free question bank on UCAT. At this point also, it might be advisable to come up with a mnemonic that helps you to remember what you're looking for when it comes to abstract reasoning. So things like reflection, position, symmetry, um, shapes, sizes, things like that. It's really useful when it comes to answering questions in um, abstract reasoning. Just think about things that will allow you to remember all of the things you're looking for. During this fourth week as well, um, nearing the third week, you want to brush up on your math skills so things like percentages and um, fractions try to um, do simple calculations in your head put the calculator away and try and do simple calculations in your head on the day of the test you won't have that much time to be using calculators and things like that okay so just try to do most of this in your head doing this will save you loads of time in the exam like mental math
maths will save your life when it comes to um, quantitative reasoning especially. So now you're about at the end of your fourth week or at the start of the third week. You familiarize yourself with the online um, testing, you know how it runs, you're quite confident to take your first test. Now you want to take the first practice test which is um, practice test A on the UCAS website. These tests are made to mimic what you'll get on the day of your testing. I know there are commercial companies like Medify and the rest, but you need to be careful when you're using those things. I use them, they were a bit helpful. Even if you're using um, any commercial um, companies um, as an adjunct, they are not identical to the tests and the questions you have on the day, okay? And also their banding system and the gradings that they use are not identical. Make sure that as you're practicing on Medify, that you're still incorporating loads of your practice or preparation by doing the questions on the UCAT website. They're much more identical to the kind of questions you get on the day. I know people who did really well in Medify and weren't getting the same scores when they took the questions on the UCAT website. You now have done your practice test A. See how you did, how you feel about it. How did you feel about the timing? And did you feel like you did as well as you thought you would have done? And yeah, don't be disheartened if you don't do too well in your first one. It's your first one you might not do too well, which is perfectly fine. Just keep going, keep going with it. I see how you did for the um, situational judgment part. What you might find helpful is to refer to the um, General Medical Council, the GMC's um, good medical practice um, document. It might help you to understand what questions you got wrong and maybe why you got them wrong and how you should have approached them. It help you to inform your responses when it comes to situational judgment subset of the test. So between the middle of your um, third week um, until your time is up for you to sit the test, what you want to do is go through the remaining practice tests, okay? And um, by this time you want to time yourself, so use the amount of time that is um, allocated in the exam, time yourself and um, do it, see how you do. It'll help you to improve your pace um, when it comes to UCAT because one thing that most people get tripped up on when it comes to UCAT is not even it's not about like the hardness of the questions it's about the timing UCAT is literally time um, and that's one thing that most people struggle with so make sure you're doing all of these and um, practice tests um, if you're using Medify or any other um, adjunct of websites so this is what you want to do until the third week all the way onto the day of your exam doing practice tests and make sure that they're timed and reviewing the answers. When you have one week to go, make sure that you have all of the logistics in place. You know where your test center is, that you've um, allocated yourself enough time, that you know the route to get into your, t your test center. If Google Maps says you're gonna get there in an hour, give yourself two hours because you don't know what's going to happen because if you get there late or if you get there and you don't have the right ID, you'll be turned back and it'll be registered as a no-show even though you came. We went through what you need to do when you've got six weeks to go, four weeks to go, three weeks to go, all the way to the day of the exam. So I hope you find it helpful. I hope that it's kind of given you an idea of where you are right now and what you should be doing um, when it comes to preparing for your UK. So yeah, all the rest, I hope that it goes well for you. If you found it helpful, make sure that you like, comment and subscribe and let anybody else who might be sitting the UCAT know um, that this resource is available to them as well. So all the best, take care, eat well, good luck good luck when it comes to preparing um enjoy the preparing process and yeah hope it goes well and i'll see you in the next one